I think something that's really interesting about food and community is that, especially with Kusama Culture Casina, folks have actually been open to trying Filipino food. So I think it really opens up a conversation for what Filipino food is and giving the community a chance to try something that maybe they haven't tried before. Right now we are in Bixby Knolls and we're at the Thursday Farmer's Market here in Long Beach. My mom was a single mom and we relied on EBT and CalFresh to be able to get some fresh produce in the household and this is the exact same market that I used to go to as a wee little one with our EBT dollars getting fresh produce. My name is Kay Karayan. I am a doula, birth worker, community organizer, and I'm also a chef. I have a pop-up kitchen that I run out of my house called Kasama Culture Casina. And it's been really fun to be able to cook for the community during the pandemic. Something that I really loved growing up was going to the farmer's market, especially because they had the Filipino vegetables that my mom was looking for and was hoping to cook. The thing about Long Beach is that six out of the seven days of the week, there are farmer's markets all over Long Beach. One of the good things about getting produce at the farmer's market is that you can actually have conversations with the farmers that are growing your produce. You can have conversations like, what's in season right now? Or is everything organic? Do you use pesticides? To be able to talk to them firsthand, you really get to know the ingredients that you're putting into your food and into your body as well. When you go to the farmer's market, you're able to pick and buy what you want. You want a pound of this, a half pound of that. So the fact that you could get a little bit of everything and exactly what you need, I think is really great. What really drives my work is actually the Bayani Han spirit. It's something that in the Philippines we do on an everyday basis. It, everything is collective, nothing is super individualistic. We work together to make things happen, whether it's cooking food or carrying someone's house to move from one barangay to another. We really work together to make things happen and I really wanted Kasamaship or companionship in the Bayanihan spirit to be a culture that we are bringing back in the diaspora because I feel like being here in the state tends to be not collective at all. So by using the word Kasama, companion, and culture and putting those together, it's really creating a culture and reclaiming that as something that's important to us, especially people in the diaspora.